Well, I will tell you, I agreed with President Biden's decision to pull out of Afghanistan. Four presidents said they would, and Joe Biden did. And as a result, America's taxpayers are not paying the $300 million a day. We were paying for that endless war. And as of today, there is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world the first time this Wait, century. what? But let's understand. So where the fuck are we right now? <laughs> <laughs> Trump had two opponents. Yeah, you know, or three. He had come, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. And uh, I, I, uh, I think Kamala. I, I have to admit, she surprised me. I, yeah. I thought she was a, a much slicker yeah. liar than I realized. But she could tell lies pretty, uh, pretty well. But I think when you decide dissect it out, uh, you know, even if she's stating a a truth. It doesn't reveal that's what she really believes. You know, no. they, 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 they've been trained in that. Most politicians have been trained uh, to do this and mislead people. There's, there's never the contest that I'm looking for, the contest between good and evil. You either are a freedom or you're a totalitarian. Yeah. You want to force to give them to a few people and or you want to have all the power and structure and decision making by the individual in a free society rejecting all acts of violence. But no, that, that is it looked at what the report did is it looked at a handful of policy issues that have been put out by both sides and it tried to model their impact on GDP growth. And the reason I say a bigger deal has been made of it is what it showed is the difference between the sets of policies that they put forward was about two tenths of one percent. Okay, so economy grows. Okay, if you took these particular sets of policies they looked at, and by the way, we have no idea whether these policies, these things that are talked about will ultimately be implemented, what was the growth impact? And the differential was two-tenths of one percent. So, you know, I think our clients are trying to look at what's going on from a policy perspective and make judgments. I think this blew up into something that's bigger than what it was intended to be. What the report did... Jamie Jeffries... A law student and mother in Arizona is a huge Taylor Swift fan and also a fan of Donald Trump. She says the issues she most cares about, abortion, immigration, and the economy, align with Trump. I'm voting Trump because we need to secure our borders, also economically. I mean, the last four years have been insanely hard on everybody, and it's not getting cheaper. Jamie Jeffrey. Just hear me out. Hear me out. I know the debate is over, but hear me out again before you unfollow or come for my life. Kamala Harris had a great point at the debate. She said that Donald Trump, when he was president, invited the Taliban to Camp David and just kind of fouled the sanctity of that place. However, comma, did you pay attention to why he invited him there? He put a picture of the leader of the Taliban, he put a picture of his house on the table and said, if you harm one American, I'm coming for you. And then the story goes, he just got up and walked out. That's why he, he invited him to his house to say, I am coming for you in your house. If you harm one single American, I don't care who you vote for. But that's the kind of leader from a military standpoint that we need. Someone who says, don't blank with my people, period. I got to respect that. You don't have to. But as a veteran, I respect that. Just hear me out. For this election, would you say your mind is made up? Yes. And that is? Trump. Okay. Are you a previous Trump supporter? The first year he won in 2016, I was not. Did you vote for Hillary? I did vote for Hillary. Okay. But I cried when she did not win. Okay. Then what happened? And then I just felt like he did a good job. I liked the fact that he was not a politician. You believe you were better off four years ago? Oh, absolutely. Small business owner Andrew Singrati backs Trump, too. For this election, would you? Reuters found 10 undecided voters who were undecided before the debate and then surveyed them afterwards. Here's what the results of the survey were. 
Six of those 10 undecideds now say that they're either going for Trump or they're leaning toward him. Three have decided to go with Harris. One continues to be undecided. Five people said that Harris was too vague on the economy. And among the Trump converts, some of them said that they didn't like him as a person, but they trusted him more on the economy. And so that's why they'll vote for him. And, and that is fascinating information that we're seeing across the board with these undecided voters, especially in swing states. Reuters found. Now you know. It's real when CNN fact checks ABC. Now, you know, it's 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 getting serious. Mm. Vice President Harris began the debate by punting the first question on the economy. Do you believe Americans are better off than they were four years ago? It went on from there. Despite the economy being the number one issue facing the country, the sitting vice president generally reverted to talking points about a few of her policy proposals. Even Harris allies today are saying that she needs to talk more about what she will do for Americans if elected. Senator Bernie Sanders will be here in a second to talk about more about the need for her to fill in some of those blanks. On the border, another vulnerable issue for Harris, she also dodged. Would you have done anything differently from President Biden on this? So I'm the only person on this stage who has prosecuted transnational criminal organizations for the trafficking of guns, drugs, and human beings. Okay, that wasn't the question. When asked how she would break through the Israel-Hamas war stalemate, Harris said this. We need a ceasefire deal and we need the hostages out. And so we will continue to work around the clock on that. Okay, but again, how? Y'all, we had Rick speak at the rally today. Oh my goodness. Shout out to Rick. I gotta, I gotta end the video from this clip right here. And, you know, you get Kamala Harris, who will say anything that she thinks will get her elected. Not once, not once in the history of the world has a country been taxed into pros prosperity. Okay? It just doesn't work. Socialism doesn't work. Show me one spot where it works. It works nowhere. We all want to raise our kids go to our own church, make sure our kids do better than we do, okay, and the government just get the hell out of the way. We, you know, <laughs> you know, 